What's going on, guys? I'm Seth Thomas here, George, and today I'll be bringing you another Pokemon show live in the UU tier because if you see the rank, you actually can't see the rank. So, uh, I don't know, I'll probably just move it up. Just Actually, you guys will see it in a couple seconds. But they re reset the ladder about a week ago, and I've been really busy with the with the with the holidays and the GBA and everything like that. So, I lost all my rankings actually. Um I had like 200 battles in the UU tier. I was like in the 1400s. Um and you can see I haven't done anything. I haven't had time to battle as much really. Um except for on the um underused ladder tournament, which is like the um which is like the official ladder tournament, which I can actually show you my rank for that. Um ULT SMC you can see it'll be coming up now. I stopped laddering because I just ran out of time, and uh, I actually lost a couple battles in a row because I just went on tilt. So I got angry at myself, and then I just never continued with it. Um, I went twenty. I was I was eighteen and two, and then I went twenty three and eight. So like, if that resembles anything, that's very unlike me to go five and six after that. But um, yep. So we're doing you, you again. I'm just gonna get my initial ranking, trying to get back up into the, to the into the fourteen hundreds. It's just a pain in the ass, I know. Um, I'm 17 and 6 right now as well, which isn't even good. But um, I'm 1286, and we're using a team that should be very familiar to you guys. Um, I used it to break top 10 in the tier before, um, if I can ever find a fucking battle. But um, it's the it's the SD Lucario, it's the Bandit Ente, it's a bulky Mega Blastoise, a defensive ch Chestnut. Um, a special defensive P2, and Azelf, which used to be Choice Scarf, which I actually changed to a Life Orb now, because of the because of the suggestion of one of my new friends actually um, in on Showdown, um, little run across country. He's the one who, who made the Magnet Salon Mega Beedrill team, and we've actually we've actually started to talk a bit more, and he just kind of helped me with this team a little bit, but um. Looking at this team, I really have counters for everything except the Crobat. If it's a banded Crobat, it'll cause me problems. The Frost Last is annoying, but again, it's it's manageable. Um, it's gonna be his lead, lead Spiker. Um, what do I want to do here? I could just lead P2 if I wanted to. Um, he would just go for Taunt then, or I could lead Blastoise. But if I lead Blastoise... I don't know. I I hate Frost Slash just because of the Destiny Bond. But does this thing outspeed? No, it doesn't. Let's just go P2 lead. The Reggie Steel. So we get the clear body. He's just gonna get up his rocks. And I'm actually perfectly okay with this. Reason being is this gives me a safe switch into my Mega Blastoise. And Spin Blocker happens to be a Chandelure. Which, if you guys know Chandelure, it is not able to take anything from my Mega Blastoise. He just has to paralyze me, which is fine as I get away the which I get away the hazards. Now I'm gonna go for a Scald. He goes into Rose Raid. Pretty obvious switch, honestly. I could have predicted that, but that's it's a little early. Um, now though, I'm really assuming that he's just gonna go for a Grass type move or something like that. And Chestnut, unless it's Technician, but I saw Black Sludge, so I'm assuming it's Natural Cure. Chestnut's actually almost like a 100% counter to this thing, and his only way of getting rid of the hazards is in fact Crobat, which if he gets up his own hazards, yeah, there we go. So we're gonna see that. Um, now the Brave Bird is really obvious, and I feel like he's just gonna defog predicting me to spiky shield, but I don't wanna go for a leech seed making an aggressive play this early on and possibly lose my Feraligator counter. But I don't have a safe switch into a bandit bird. I'm gonna go into Porygon too. If it's bandit he's, he's gonna go for defog. Oh, he went for toxic. See, I could have went for leech seed, honestly. Um and now I have a toxic fucking P2, which is god awful, but. And now he's gonna go, he's gonna be in a U-turn out. So he's really statusing my team right now. And he has Toxic on a Crobat. He's gonna U-turn, he's gonna go to Registeel, so I get off a Discharge. He's gonna get up his rocks again. I'm gonna go to Mega Blastoise, Rapid Spin, Rinse, Repeat. That's what it's gonna be. At least that's what I think it's gonna be. Um, 
he doesn't have really much to take on P2. The fact that he poisoned it is actually really good for him. I did not expect Toxic. I don't know anyone who expects a Toxic on a Crobat. But um, here's here's gonna come the rocks. So I'm actually I'm gonna make an aggressive play, I think, and I'm gonna go into my Entei. Um, at times, you just have to make these aggressive plays, and he goes in a, into the Rose Raid, which ends up being fantastic for me, and I'm actually going to fire off... See, the Sacred Fire is obvious. The Sacred Fire is painfully obvious, so he's probably going to go into Chandelure, and... I do have a 100% check to Chandelure in the form of my P2. So I could go for a Stone Edge here, or, or Bulldoze. What do I want to do? I really want to bulldoze and just take that thing out immediately. Or stone. I'm gonna stone edge on the Chandelure switch. Let's see what happens. There we go, and we take out the Chandelure. And the reason I went for stone edge and risked the possible miss is because the bulldoze was not gonna take out the Rose Raid. And if he predicted me to predict a switch and he went for for like a Sludge Bomb or something or or like a Sleep Powder, I would at least be able to take it out using the stone edge, or I'd have a, a, a better chance of taking it out as well as the crit chance. Um, that's so why I went for Stone Edge over the Bulldoze. And now we're looking like he's on the back foot right here. He is behind, and that's the best thing for us. Now, I'm going to go into Chestnut. The Ice Punch prediction is probably going to happen. Because for Dragon, it's right off the bat. Okay. Um, I don't know how I feel about that play. To be completely honest, I don't know how I feel about that play. I'm just going to go for a Leech Seed as we miss. It's annoying, but it happens, and Toxic is probably coming our way, so I'm going to go to Blastoise this time. Either Toxic or, or Brave Bird. Goes for Defunct this time, which honestly is fine. I'm going to fire off an Ice Beam on this turn. Actually, see, he knows I have Ice Beam, so I brought this. I'm going I'm to go for Scald um, as he U-turns out. Now, I don't know if he'll honestly predict me to have the Ice Beam, because I don't, I don't know how, how many Mega Blastoise have Ice Beam, but I do get paralyzed... Which is very annoying, but I'm gonna scald again. And we're doing 34%, and we do get the burn, which is great. Now here, I do want to rapid spin, but... I'm not going to rapid spin. I'm going to scald again. Reason being is he's gonna go into Frostlass, trying to get a Destiny Bond off, get the burn. I don't get the burn. So now comes the tricky situation. And I knew this was gonna happen, is who dies to Frostlass's Destiny Bond? Um, I, I want rocks gone. I know that for a fact that I want to get... I just want the rocks out of here. Um, is P2 necessary? P2 is not that necessary anymore, honestly. Um, it doesn't handle... It would have handled the Chandelure. And it is toxic already. It's going to be pretty low. I trace the curse bodies. He does just go for Destiny Bond. Now here, I'm assuming he's just going to go for a Lair of Spikes. I'm going I'm to Discharge, or he's going to Taunt um, in order that I can't get up a Toxic on him or a T-Wave. That would be the safest play if he just wants to, but he switches out, so he's preserving that thing. Into Rose Raid. I'm going to heal myself up. I want to see what he wants to do. He's just going to Giga Drain me? Okay. It's a little bit interesting. I'm not going to lie. It's a little bit of an interesting play. Um, now I'm going to go in, into my Chestnut. Because my Chestnut completely walls Rose Raid. Just because of the bulletproof ability. And his only real switch into my Chestnut. Happens to be the Crobat. So. I am going to go for a, a Leech Seed right here. He goes for HP Fire. So he does have the HP Fire. I guess it's pretty common on that thing. Um, he didn't reveal it before. Which is really weird. I thought he would. Uh, I'm gonna spike your shield here and just in order to get up a little bit more health um, Before I switch out, but I want to keep this thing around. I want to keep it alive in order to take on the What you might call it for alligator now here the HP fire is not gonna be doing much to my ease elf So I'm gonna go into it probably gonna take maybe 30% from it. There's the 32% and Honestly, I'm gonna fire off a flamethrower instead of a side shock the side shock is obvious and he's just going to go into Registeel, which is not going to take it the Flamethrower. Also, I am a Life Orb, so I don't want to be taking too much like of the Life Orb damage. Um, he's going to go into Crobat here. He's just going to U-turn out. So I'm trying to think of what I can go into to best absorb this. Now, I'm playing with Fire right here because my Chestnut is pretty low. It's not at a reasonable amount of health to take an ice punch off of a for alligator especially a plus one 
So I'm thinking now it is the most expendable member on my team, and we're gonna have to play with our double priority, uh, like against the Fralligator, which is no problem. His team is pretty weak to priority. Um, that's what I'm gonna do though, is I'm gonna go into Chestnut now, I'm gonna sacrifice it off, and or he's just gonna U-turn, get initiative. Now I'm assuming right here he's probably gonna go into the Rosary just to HP fire. If he does that, I'm gonna sack off my chestnut, I get a free switch into Azelf, and I can side shock something. We're just gonna be doing a shit ton of damage to anything on his team. Um, nothing wants to get side shock, but he goes into Frost last this time. So I'm assuming he has the Ice Beam now. If he does this. I'm gonna go into P2 again because my two walls right now, I don't wanna lose my chestnut to the Frost last. I would rather lose my chestnut to the rose raid now i'm gonna discharge here as he taunts predicting like a toxic or a recover i'm not even trying to heal up my p2 at this point because that's too obvious um it doesn't even do anything for me he's gonna go on in, into rose raid here now two options i can sack off the p2 to this thing or i can sack it off my chestnut to this thing now the rocks and spikes are up now Chestnut can survive the rocks and spikes, and I believe P2 cannot. So I think P2 is my best play just to kind of kind of fodder off here. As well as we get that, we get nice damage with tri attack and the paralysis. So now P2 goes down, but that's honestly okay because I can go into my A self, take 12%, I'll be at 33. Then I'll take 10% from the life orb, and even though I'm taking 10% off the life orb, the Psy Shock will is fine. It's I'm, I'm not concerned. I still have my spinner now. It's now the spin blocker is gone and Azelf is going to be posing a massive threat to his team except for the Crobat because it outspeeds me and he goes in for Alligator to tank the hit which does not tank the hit at all now it's a Dragon Dance set as was revealed earlier so I don't believe he would have the Aqua Jet he does not have the Aqua Jet in my opinion the Feraligator was his only chance to win um, it was his only chance to pull off a sweep although I do have the double priority so that's really hindsight hindsight 2020 um now i'm gonna sack off my chestnut here to a most likely a flying type move it might be a u-turn u-turn seems to be this thing's only attacking move which is pretty interesting but um what i'm gonna what i'm just gonna do here is i'm just gonna fire off a uh a drain punch and we're just gonna see what he wants to do he just decides to take me out with a giga drain and um at this point i can safely just go into my a self with this final switch in and it's Final turn of life orb. It's going to take another kill, taking out the rose raid. For th so it'd be three kills f for the um, Azelf. Is it just clean out coast to Crobat? And honestly, I can go into anything on my team now. I'm just going to choose Entei because Entei is awesome and stuff. And well, Entei is just going to be able to fire off a sacred fire and it's going to take it up. So we miss the sacred fire because he misses the sleep powder. Jeez. Okay, so this could have been very bad. Um, I guess I should have gone for two E speeds to be pretty safe, but you you, you don't expect to miss a 5% chance miss move. Um, so it's just not something you, you would normally expect. Um, we're facing a team that has a Mega Sceptile, Mammal Swine, Darmanitan, Crocodile. So his core is the Zapdos, the Tentacruel, and with some support from the Crocodile, I'm guessing, and the Mammal Swine and the Darmanitan and the Sceptile are his main offensive mons. Or it could be a defensive Crocodile, especially defensive... Actually, it could be really anything. But I know that he has a strong, a very strong Firewater Grass Core. Um, pretty good team, actually. Pretty, 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 like, interesting team. Leads on his end. Honestly, it's either the Crocodile, the Darmanitan, or the Mammal Swine. And every single... One of those mons does not like my Blastoise in the slightest bit. So, Blastoise, we're just going to Mega Evolve and we're going to get off a of Scald. And nothing on his team appreciates the Scald. If it gets burned, you know, it, it's Tense Cruel here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get my Mega off. Scald, 14%. we get the burn? No, we don't. Now, um, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to switch very aggressively into my Azelf. If it goes for a Sludge Bomb, then I'll probably be taking around 40% from it, but it's not like that's too concerning. He goes for Toxic. Honestly, if anything has to be Toxic, it, it, it's Azelf. It's fine. Um, now here, the Psy Shock is obvious, or, or just any Psyche-type move is pretty obvious here. 
So his only real real switch in is a crocodile. So I'm gonna make an aggressive play and go for energy ball off the bat. And it doesn't work. It does work out for me, and we're gonna take out the crocodile, which was a moxie crocodile as well, actually. So we just killed his choice scarfer, um, his pursuit trapper potentially. Just gonna go in a septile here. We don't outspeed the septile. It's just gonna take us out. So what I'm gonna do is go into my P2, which can take on the septile very perfectly. Um, we trace over girl, which isn't even concerning, but it's just gonna go for a leaf storm, and that did 36%. So what I'm gonna do here is I am going to. Really, I can do one of two things. I can recover and protect my P2, or I can Toxic. And if I Toxic, I'm assuming the Zapdos might want to come in here. So I'm actually going to Toxic. Goes into Tense Cruel, so again, it's hashtag hindsight 2020, I guess. But um, last time I did switch into my Azelf on a Toxic, so I'm actually going to do that again because Azel puts a lot of offensive pressure on his team. We take a sledge bomb. We did about 40% so I was right, but the combination of Psy Shock and I think we can survive one more turn um, after the Life Orb and Toxic. That's going to be close, but I think we can do it. Azel already did its job um, and we Psy Shock and take out the Tentacruel. So now he doesn't have a switch in to my Entei and we do survive the Toxic and the Life Orb, which is fantastic. So... He has three moves, the Mammo, the Darm, and the Sceptile. He goes with the Sceptile. And here, what do I want to do here? I feel like he might try to set up a Substitute or something like that. Although it is a Nuke set, so it probably doesn't have a Substitute. Not like it would matter anyway. Um, do I want to try to... I don't need this thing anymore. It doesn't outspeed anything on his team anymore, so I'm just going to Psy Shock. Um, and he just goes for Dragon Pulse. It's a safe play. It takes me out, so... That's just what happens. Here, though, I'm going to go into Entei. It's an aggressive play. I could go into P2, but I have a lot of offensive pressure right now. I am ahead, so I can keep up this offensive pressure, and he doesn't have a switch in for my Entei anymore. Um, I can Sacred Fire, or I can Stone Edge. The Darmanitan is the only real switch in to my Sacred Fire. I'm trying to think if that's my best play. It's a banded Sacred Fire. It's going to be doing a lot, even though it's resisted. And I do have a safe switch in as my Blastoise. Although the U-turn will probably be coming. Actually, well, I don't think a Rock Slide can even take... Uh, it'll probably take me out a Rock Slide. So um, he stays in. And I'm, I get out Sacred Fire and I take out the Mega Sceptile. So that's an, another threat out of the way. Um, s sometimes just playing aggressive is the best way to go, in my opinion. Um, you can get a lot a lot of momentum really quickly if you just play aggressively. Now here, I do believe a T-Bull is just going to take me out. This is because Sapdos is very strong. Um, but do we need this thing? It has E-Speed, which is very nice, so it might actually be worthwhile to keep. I don't see Chestnut doing much anymore, or at all, honestly, so Chestnut is my best fodder to this thing. Um, he does just go for Volt Switch. Is he Life Orbed? He's not Life Orbed. So he's going to go into Darmanitan here, and this is just my opportunity to get some damage off on it. I'm going to go for a Spiky Shield. I'm going uh, to see what he locks himself into. If it's the Flare Blitz, I have the Mega Blastoise Switch, which is a little obvious. I might actually go for a Leech Seed if he Flare Blitzes right here. Um, reason being is if he gets offensive momentum with his Sapdos, I could be in trouble. Um, here he knows the Mega Blastoise is a good switch. So I'm going to leech see if he stays in, takes me out. Really, I'm okay with that because I, the chestnut didn't have a purpose anymore anyway. So what I can do here is I can go into my Blastoise. And he's not doing any damage to me whatsoever. So the Scald is coming. He n knows the Scald is coming. I'm going to Ice Beam, actually. The reason I'm going to Ice Beam is the Zapdos coming in right now is a really obvious play. There we go. It's all about predictions. It's all about the predictions. Now, he has leftovers, and honestly, I feel like he might go for a roost here. I can take any one hit, but then I lose my counter to Darmanitan. I do have double priority still, though. I do have the double priority. Um, and him healing up would not be a good play for me. Plus, I think I can take any non-life non orbed hit easily as I go for a Scald on this turn. He's going to Oko either the either the Darmanitan or the Mammal Swine. Says I yawn. 
and the Dormanitan hand comes out, and it's not taking a Scald, so that goes down. Now the Zapdos will be coming back in, and the Mammoth Swine. The Mammoth Swine is not even a threat because of my double E speed priority, so I'm gonna stay and I'm gonna Scald. He predicts. I don't know to be honest. Does he not have any move to hit my Blastoise other than Volt Switch? I don't know. It's weird. He just earthquakes and takes me out. Now, this game is pretty much over at this point. I do outspeed this thing. Um, what we're going to do f first here, though, is go into P2. The reason I'm going into P2 right here is because I want to get off a try attack because I'm going to E speed twice, I think. Now I just have to E speed once, but yep, he knows that that's the game, so that's a, good, that's a GG. And we're 21 minutes in. We're up in the 1300s again, which is not great, but it's it's a thing. Um, I'm trying to think if I want to do another. It's 21 minutes. We'll do another. We'll we'll find another battle. And let's see what this is. Interesting. It's a strong team. It's a powerful team. Um, Aerodactyls, Mrs. Mega, especially defensive Empoleon with physically offensive Mandibuzz. I'm guessing. Trick Room does not make sense, so that's a Calm Mind, Dream Nicholas, AV Machamp, and Offensive Rose Raid, I'm guessing. Lucario can sweep, eventually. Not right now, but eventually. And his best lead might be the Machamp, honestly. I'm going Azelf lead. He does go Machamp lead, and I'm going to fire off a Psy Shock immediately. I think I can Oko it, and I do actually Oko it, so... He expected the lead rock set or the lead just like um, hyper offensive s suicide lead, explosion, taunt, rocks. Um, not the case actually. Now he's going to go into Mandibuzz. Now the, the knockoff here is obvious. It's his only play, honestly. So I have a couple of moves. I can go into Chestnut and set up some spikes to try to leech seed. Or I can go to Blastoise. I think I want to go to Blastoise actually because I can get up the Mega Evolution, which he gets a major power. He U turns out. Mandibuzz with U-turn. Interesting. This gives him a lot of momentum, actually. Um, he's just going to go into Rose Raid, I'm guessing. And that's that's f pretty fine, I guess. Um, Leaf Storm is coming. Or Giga Drain. Do I need Chestnut? For, I don't need Chestnut for anything on his team. And I'd rather keep my P2 alive to take on the Aerodactyl. So I'm going to go into my Chestnut right here. And he's just going to Giga Drain. Not going to be doing too much. And what I'm going to actually do is I'm just going to fire off a quick layer of spikes. See what he has. He's good for Sludge Bomb. I am bulletproof. So that's not going to be doing anything to me. Here though, we could make an offensive double switch. Into Entei. Which actually I am going to do. As, what does he do? He goes for an HP Fire and we tank that. And now... He's definitely afraid that I can just take him out with the Sacred Fire, which I actually can just take him out with the Sacred Fire. I'm just going to go for it. Goes into Empoleon. That is not a switch in to a Banded Sacred Fire. I'm just going to Sacred Fire again. Take out the Empoleon just like that. So his only real way of dealing with this thing is offensively with Aerodactyl. She brings it in and... If he starts to set up the home claws, I'll be in trouble. I'm gonna go into P2 here. I can tank a Stone Edge manageably well. He goes for Aqua Tail. Safe play. It's a very safe play. Um, here, what I want to do is just recover up. I know he's gonna switch, most likely to Mandibuzz. And here, he's probably gonna try to defog. To be honest, I'm gonna get a, a Toxic off on it. He does defog, not knock off, which is great for me. I get off my Toxic. And honestly, now I assume he's just going to go for a knockoff. Or you turn out again. We're going to see. What do I want to go into? Because if we go into Blastoise and he goes for a Toxic. Which I don't think he... He, he has the U-turn, so I don't think he'd be a Toxic song set. He does just U-turn out again. 
See, he's playing very interestingly. Like, I, I don't know how else to explain it, but... Is Chestnut my switch into this thing again? Yeah, it is. Because I don't care about Chestnut right now. It's not a Pokemon that I'm concerned with. Okay, he just goes for Dazzling Gleam. So he's just a fully offensive Rose Raid. Like, he used the Giga Drain, the Sludge Bomb, the HP Fire, and the Dazzling Gleam, as we saw all of his moves. So just all offensive. Um... P2 does completely wall that set then, though. So we could keep Chestnut as, like, a death fodder if we wanted to. Um, to be honest, I don't want to, though. So I'm going to go for a layer of spikes. If he wants to overpredict or something, he's not going to overpredict. It's good for him. Um, I can go into Entei, or I can go into Azelf. Azelf, I would have to play around with the, with the Mandibuzz, probably predicting the switch and go for Dazzling Gleam. Um... Or I can go into Entei and Sacred Fire again, take a Sludge Bomb possibly, which I think is fine, honestly. I'm not too concerned with Sludge Bomb. It's not going to take me out. Yeah, I'm going to go into Entei right here. Once again, going into Entei, just firing off a of Sacred Fire. No reason not to. It's going to um, clean Oko. Almost everything on his team, except for the defensive Dream Nicholas. It's going to take a decent amount from it, though. There's a Mandibuzz. That's not a switch into this thing. There, There is no switch into this thing. Um, his only way of dealing with this is to sack something off and then go into Mega Aerodactyl and just go in for a Stone Edge, which um, is not a way of dealing with Entei. Um, and his team is very switchable on Entei. I've... Uh, very good matchup against this guy. Now here, once again, it's the Aerodactyl. I'm just going to go into P2. P2, there is no reason not to go into P2. This goes for Home Claws this time, which is honestly what I was afraid of. But I have Discharge, so Stone Edge does, is not a 2 KO, it looks like. And Discharge also is not a 2 KO. But what this extra Discharge is going to do is put him in range of... Oh my god. Okay. Okay. Mega Blastoise can tank any one hit, but I say only one hit, and then I am very susceptible, very susceptible to a Calm Mind Drew Nicholas sweep. Am I? I still have Entei. I still have Lucario. Honestly, Mega Blastoise is my safest switch now. I know you can tank one hit from this and get off a of Scald. Honestly, no. I'm gonna go for Ice Beam because it will take him out from that range. Yes, it will. And he's not gonna. If he does want to make the switch into the Rose Raid, then I catch the Rose Raid on the switch, which is what happens. Oh my god. We get a crit, and we freeze. And your PC is very low, 7%. Well, that's very concerning. I did not think it was that low. We got my charger really quick. It's right around the corner right here. How, how professional. I'm um, just gonna plug it in really quick. Okay. Okay. Um, so we freeze. Do we play around with the chance that he's going to thaw? We don't really have a choice, I guess. Um, I would have made the switch into Azelf. No, honestly, I would have made the switch into Entei then. But that's not a switch I can make. Um... Honestly, Azelf is my most expendable member. However, we are going to make the switch into Entei here. In case he unthaws, he's just going to go for Giga Drain. Good, that happens. Now we're going to get off another Sacred Fire. Um, nothing on his team can take a Sacred Fire at this point. I could E-Speed, but if I E-Speed, then I s allow him to s try to set up with Ryu Nicholas. Something I don't want, and go for Sacred Fire. 73%. Get the burn. Not going to do anything. Um, and we're just going to fire off another Sacred Fire. And I think Entei, three kills already. Um, Mandibuzz and Polion, everything. Now, Azelf. Oh, no, I'm just going to Sacred Fire. I don't need Entei anymore. Goes for Aerial Ace, predicting a switch, I'm guessing, or just didn't want to miss. We get the burn. We do get the burn. We do take him out. We did hack this guy a little bit. Um, although Sacred Fire Burns aren't really hacks because it's a 50% chance. And 1333, yeah, no, 
I'm, I'm sorry about the opponents not being top quality this this episode. Um, not really anything I can do about that just because the ladder is set and I haven't been playing it as much recently just because I've, I've been busy. And I know there's been a lack of uploads except for GBA and I'm sorry about that. It's just Mondays and Tuesdays are my f very bad days and in school at least and now I have finals coming up. Next week is my first final in exactly a week actually in chemistry and it's... I am not ready for my finals yet, so it's 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 a very very stressful time. I will, of course, always have the GBA battles coming out, um, but until the finals end, there just might be a tiny lack of uploads, which I am going to try to fix. I'm, I'm going to try to put content out, but if I do not have the time to put content out, it's not my top priority over over my schoolwork. So I um, just want to get that one one point across there guys and um anyways guys this will be the end of the video for today it's, it's already 30 minutes long so i have a nice little long live for you guys so if you enjoyed please comment like rate and subscribe helps me out helps the channel out and if you do not already watch my gba videos please support the san francisco arca niners two and one right now i think two and one so yep anyways guys peace out